Hey guys, Mark here. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to show you three different ways of tying the marline spike hitch. The hitch gets its name from the marline spike, which is a tool used in the process called marling, which is basically a technique of using hitches in order to secure the ends of rope or doing various other tasks. So the marlin spike hitch is basically just a hitch that is used to attach rope onto various objects. It is of great help when you need to pull on a rope and you would not like to damage your hands. With that said, I'm going to show you three different ways that I like for tying the marlin spike hitch. The first way of tying a marlin spike hitch is to use some sort of a tool to do it. You can use a marlin spike or just some sort of an object onto which we're going to attach the marlin spike hitch. We start by placing our tool over the rope. We hook our rope at the bottom. We then hook our rope at the top. Then pull the stop part into the loop to create our marlin spike hitch. At this point, we can pull on our tool in order to tighten up our rope. Once you get used to this method, it can be done very fast. The second way of making this hitch is to tie it like you would a knot. So we start by forming a loop. Like this. Then you take your standing end, you feed it through the loop. Then take an object that you're going to place your hitch onto and feed it through this loop. Then tighten up. What you get is a marlin spike hitch. Let's take a look at one interesting aspect of the marlin spike hitch. Now you know how to tie a slip knot. A slip knot is tied by making a loop, then feeding our working end through it, then tightening up. And what we got is a slip knot. The slip knot is not particularly secure and it should not be confused for the marlin spike hitch. The marlin spike hitch, on the other hand, is made by forming a loop, then feeding the standing end, not the working end, through in order to create the hitch. The third way of making this hitch is also one of my favorites. We take our object onto which we're going to place our hitch and place it under the rope. We then take our rope, wrap it around like this. So we have our working end coming towards the outside of the object. Then we take this part here. So the back part of our working end. And we pull it over the standing end and around the object. And it is that easy to make a nice looking and secure Marlin spike hitch. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that it proved useful to you. Thank you and see you next time.